My beloved brothers and sisters, I am so very happy to be here again at the wonderful and beautiful parish of St. George, the Tropeophoros, especially on the Sunday after the universal elevation of the precious and life-giving cross. This historical event in the life of the Church, which is the finding of the true cross of our Lord, this event merits both a Sunday before and a Sunday after, two celebrations before and after the real celebration of the Holy Cross. So today is the Sunday after the elevation. This surely demonstrates the great importance that we give to the feast, much like we do the same with Christmas and Theophany. We celebrate the Sunday before Christmas, the Sunday after Christmas. He had been beaten and whipped. He had been tortured by the soldiers and made to wear a crown of thorns. Then the Roman soldiers grabbed Simon of Cyrene out of the crowd passing by and forced him to carry the cross of Christ as they made their way through the holy city to Golgotha, the way, the place of his crucifixion. Can we even imagine what this means for us here today? There's a plain truth in the ancient world about carrying crosses. It was a humiliation humiliation to the condemned to death man, that he had to carry the instrument of his own death on his way to a most painful and miserable end. The Lord's burden was shared by Simon of Cyrene, because by doing so, the Lord allowed all of us, because Simon represents all of us. So Jesus allowed all of us, through Simon of Cyrene, to partake in his humiliation. <coughs> and because of this ex exchange on the way of the cross so many centuries ago, because of that, the Lord showed us that we will never be alone with our own crosses. He will always be there to help us carry them, no matter how heavy they may seem to us. The Lord became a debtor to, all, to us all through Simon of Cyrene because Simon carried his cross for all of us. And now the Lord will help us, will help us with our own crosses in a generous repayment. Therefore, as we digest the words of the gospel today, let us consider what in our lives is a cross that we bear, or even many crosses that we bear. Let us choose to carry them in the way of love, the way that our Lord walked. If we do so, we will always find that their weight, the cross's weight, is shared, shared by the God, who will to be raised upon the cross of Golgotha, crucified. And by the power of his glorious and holy cross, we shall turn the plains and sorrows of this life into glory and joy, with love, with forgiveness, and compassion for all. Amen. It's my honor to bless you and give you the officium of Anagros of the reader of our church. Please, come forward. Kelepson, Kelepsete, Kelepson despota Agia, tus nin prosperomenus si. Stormal patros, que tu iu, que tu iu, prerva, tus in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stormal patros, que tu iu, que tu iu, prerva. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, elect these your servants and sanctify them and enable them with all wisdom and understanding to exercise the study and reading of your divine words. 
preserving them in blamelessness of life, through the mercies and bounties of love towards mankind, of your only begotten Son, with him you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Axia! 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 parish in Midtown Manhattan. I'm sure most of you know that the Annunciation Parish, now on the 91st Street at the West End Avenue, used to be directly across the, no, the street no. here, where now we see the Midtown North Police Precinct. Annunciation had to move to make way for the precinct. But St. George remained. You stayed here. This area of the New York City was then Greek town before Astoria. So there were here abundant and vibrant businesses and hundreds of families Greek Orthodox. The city and the neighborhood have changed as always is inevitable, but St. George has abided throughout the decades. Your resilience <coughs> as a parish is due to the blessings of the Trofeo Forums, St. George. And to your dedication, of course, you all, <coughs> and your devotion to this house of God. Today, it's the time to recognize some people for their services in this wonderful parish. First, allow me to address to my spiritual son, Father Sophronius, who received his name from the Ecumenical Patriarch personally, directly, and he has been serving our Archdiocese with such a devotion and love and sacrificial love and service that I think it's worthy today, the right moment, to give him the officio of Archimandrit. Storma Patros que tu iu que tu aiu nevus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Storma Patros que tu iu que tu aiu nevus. Proskomen! My humble person, through the grace of the All Holy and Consecrated Spirit, elevates you to the office of Archimandrite of our sacred Archdiocese of America. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, Eternal King, the Good Shepherd and Supreme Head of the Logical Pasture, who gave your life for your sheep, and who said, 
Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them. Even now be present in this assembly through the grace of your Holy Spirit, and show this your servant Sophronius, who is elevated to ultimate right, to be a distinguished and excellent member of our brotherhood. Direct his paths, illumine his mind, and plant your divine fear deep in his heart, so that he may conduct himself blamelessly and according to your holy will. Let him minister with willingness and conviction to the needs of our sacred archdiocese faithfully and in truth. Preserve his soul and body from all harmful influences and make him a heir of your kingdom. For you are our Savior and to you be glory and worship together with your eternal Father and with your holy good and life creating spirit now and always and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Axios! Axios! support have been truly inspiring and they are most deserving of receiving this highest honor of our Archdiocese, the Medal of St. Paul. So I call upon them to come forward as I introduce them. Andrew George. The Paris Council President. <laughs> he spearheaded the entire renovation project, offering countless hours and numerous sacrifices. Equally important, he welcomes everyone to your community. And now he was at the door, still. <laughs> <laughs> he is welcoming parishioners and visitors alike. And he has helped increase the parish's stewardship exponentially over the years. Thank you. <laughs> Nick Scandalius. Right. Nick, Nick is this parish's grand benefactor, without whom the renovation yeah. project would not have been completed. Thank you, Nick. You have been, you have been an outstanding steward of St. George and has never turned down any request for help of any kind. And most importantly, you are a man of great faith and genuine concern. Thank you. For the Christina Kalachi. <laughs> Last but not least, certainly, <laughs> Christina, you are a multi-talented lady and the renovation project's architect. You love this community and you have manifested tangibly and visibly through your actions and your contributions. 
You served as the Paris Council Vice President when the restoration project began, and you never ceased giving freely of your time, your talents, and treasure. Thank you. All of you embody what is best in our church. And for this reason, I am happy and honored to bestow upon each one of you the highest honor of our diocese, which is the Medal of St. Paul. Axi ki axia. Kelevson, Kelevsete, Kelevson Vespota Aigie, Tus Nim Prosperomenus Si. Stormat Patros, que tu iu, que tu iu, Nermatos. Stormat Patros, que tu iu, que tu iu, Nermatos. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, through your condescension, you became human and opened the possibility for us to have life in you. You chose your apostles and empowered them with the Holy Spirit to serve your church and spread your gospel. The great apostle Paul said, let the people learn to be leaders in good works, so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. We therefore entreat you. Most merciful Master, bless your servants, the good leaders of good works in the faith, and bestow upon them through our humility the Archdiocesan Medal of St. Paul. We pray that you strengthen, protect, and guide them in your wisdom and truth, that their life may be a Christian witness of your perfect peace, love, and every good thing. Of you belongs all glory, thanksgiving, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Axia! And this is also the official decree. Axia! Axia! Axios! 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 